Hey, Dave, how are you, mate? Letitia, how are you, guys? Good, mate. Sit down, Letitia. You don't want to be standing up on one <laughs> leg. How are you? Yeah, good. So the new van's finally the here. The new van, you finally got it. Yeah, we're super excited. Exciting and times. Excited to see, get you inside and have a look at what we've uh, what we've done with our battery system. And no doubt there's not much left in this as it was supplied in your line of work. Yeah, so we... You look, certainly added something to a few, it, for a few sure. changes. Yeah, so we... I mean, we were pretty, when we made the decision to buy a new van, yeah. uh, we were pretty conscious about what we wanted in the van. So when we ordered it, we basically said, let's get the absolute minimum battery system we can so we're not wasting money. And we're, when we pull it out, we're, we're not being silly about it. Okay. So we went absolute base model. And then we thought, let's go crazy when we go inside. We're weekend warriors, so we didn't need an absolute crazy system. But we still wanted a system that if we want to run the margarita machine, the air fryer, yeah, totally. the bread maker that wanted to bring in the aircon, <laughs> like we still could do that on our weekend warrior. For well that's the thing, that. it used to be that a big system equaled many weeks away or full time traveller, yeah. but nowadays a big system can equal weekend warrior. Yeah. It just depends on what you want to do yeah. and the sky's the limit and obviously with your skill set, you know, you can do this kind of work and yeah. naturally do it for other people, yeah. so let's check it out. Yeah, awesome. Okay, awesome. Come on inside. Right, Dave, so now we're inside. Yeah. It's a nice little uh, 19 foot 6 van, so we've got an east-west bed at the front, oh, so we've utilised that. that in there, so we'll do a quick swap there, you can have so a quick look. It, that's incredible, you've got 400 amps in that space, and you've pretty well used the space as well as possible, there's quite a lot of real estate left here for storage. Yeah, so that was one of the key things, obviously 19 foot 6, smaller van, family van, we've got bunks down the back, we still needed to have space to store yeah. stuff, um, but we wanted to get the system in, so... Um, we want it to be capable off-road, we want it to be self-sufficient, um, and I think we've we've ticked all the boxes with this. Nice, neat install under there. Get a there. load of this, guys. Look at this installation. This is so neat. Traditionally, I look in power systems and I shake my head. It's affectionately known as a spaghetti farm, but this is anything but that. It's so tidy, it's so professional as an installation, and it comprises of all the right parts. We've got the 60 amp e-power and a drive charger there, so when you're plugged into mains power, you can charge this bank quite efficiently. But most importantly, we're also charging via our solar array. What uh, panels have you got on the roof there, Adam? Yeah, so we've got four 180-watt panels up on the roof. So, so 720 watts. Yeah, awesome. effectively. So we, we tried to, with the roof, we tried to sort of go double the battery. That's a basic sort of rule of thumb. Yeah, most of it. So yep. that was about as much as we could get on there. So that's sort of where we went with that. And guys, the DC-DC charger. What's interesting about this is I've often said you can run solar into the DC-DC as well as vehicle, but it's perfect to go this way. Why? Because in transit, we've got the full benefit of your alternator feeding the DC-DC charger, hence charging these batteries, but we also at the same time have 720 watts supplying a separate solar controller. So we're charging faster, more efficiently. The other side to that is should something fail, and it can happen to the best of us, at least you haven't lost all of your remote charging solutions. One part or the other will still be active which is critical when you're touring and traveling and you want to enjoy your break regardless of little things that can go wrong. And obviously the two 200 amp BTEC batteries are in there. They're paralleled correctly as per Enerdrive's recommendations. So what we mean by that is we've got a staggered connection. So where we've paralleled using the appropriate size cable, it's important that these parallel cables are the same size or larger than the required feed for the system. And most, most importantly, we've staggered the connections here. So the guys at Suncoast have really got their act together. They know how to install a power system. They've got the negative fed off one battery and the positive off the alternative battery, which is a correct parallel procedure. And we've got the 2,600 watt e-power charger. Now we do a transfer model inverter at 2,000 watts and 2,600 watts. What was your logic, Adam? Why did you go the 2,600 watt inverter? Yeah, so look, just with the, the appliances we wanted to run, obviously the aircon was a big one for us. We've got young kids. Um, we do a lot of free camping. Like, we don't want to go to the caravan parks and, and park up next to the same old people that we work with every week. Sure. I shouldn't really say that, but <laughs> I get it. the same customers we see all week. We, we want to escape and get off grid and, and get away and sort of, you know, like, like you do. So we want the big one so we can run our aircon, we can have our fridge on, we can have all our appliances running. So we thought... We're going to upgrade just that little bit from the 2,000 watt. We could have got away with the 2,000 watt, I feel, yeah, but yeah. we thought, you know, spend that little bit of extra money now and do, it um, right. and do it right. So, you know, the jump up from one to the next one was, you it's know. It's not a big jump. Yeah, no. not a big jump, but, you know, it's, our, our thoughts were, let's spend a little bit extra money now. Okay. Um, and then the next thing, it's easy to look at the big components. We all get, that's the fluff. We all research the big components. But what really sells a system and makes it viable and reliable is how it's installed. 
And these products over here in the corner, guys, smart thinking, they've got a master switch there, so an isolation switch that disconnects the entire system. Everything is fused with nice, neat bar work. So rather than looping wires across here, they've got a nice bar here that makes this common across the top, so it's nice and tidy. It allows for a really good, clean connection, and everything's labelled and appropriately positioned. I think this is just such a good little system, mate. It's perfectly yeah. done. Congratulations. And look, it's, it's not a crazy system. It's not no. massive, but it's so functional for what we do. Like It's know, ideal for this build. Pretty much, we're, we're away for two nights, three nights if we're sort of lucky on a long weekend, or and then a couple of sort of two-week trips a year, and that's, that's pretty much us. So this system for us is, look, it's a little bit of overkill, probably you could say, but for us, we wanted a, well, a fail-proof system that Adam, we could do whatever is, we want. Let's face it, your quintessential weekend warrior gets one big trip a year. So if you're going to do it, plan for it. Yeah. You get your weekends away, but then over Christmas or Easter, Easter a slightly longer break, Christmas a longer break again. Yeah. So we tend to plan for the weekend, but we want to future-proof ourselves for those slightly longer stays. Yeah, and you've certainly achieved that here. Yeah. Nice, neat, clean system. Awesome. Congrats, mate. Thanks, mate. Well done. Appreciate it. Awesome job. Cheers, guys. Thank you.